Well, YouTube and Facebook. Um, well, I finally decided to get around to making a video. And this one here is actually going to be a repair video. We actually got some good content this time here. Um, I'm working on a 99 Cadillac DeVille V8, 32 valve. And we got to fix the brakes. Um, the master cylinder right now is pretty much empty. Um, yeah, it's pretty much empty. So that's okay because as long as we don't press the brake, we won't get air in it. Um, it's not empty, empty, but there's a little bit of fluid like right there at the valve. Um, what we have to do is we have to do uh, two brake lines. It was only supposed to be one, but now it's two because one broke on me. Um, so what it is that we have to do is, I'll show you. All right, so here's what we gotta do, okay? Well, actually, first, I'm gonna go over to the bench and I'll show you what happened, okay? Now, what we have here is, this is the connector that actually goes to this line, okay? It was, it was connected down here at this end. There's a piece right here. This is this piece right here that I believe it went like this. I'm almost certain that's how it went. Well, what happened was um, this line right here has got a hole in it, okay? So initially this line goes to the passenger rear tire here. Okay, so that's where this line goes to. Now, you're probably wondering why I got two brake lines sitting here. Well, the one caliber is right here for the side that I was just on. There's the rotor, or the hub, and there's the rotor. Now, a lot of people are probably thinking, yeah, I went a little too far by taking all that apart. No, I didn't. Now, I'm going to tell you why here in a minute. Because you, oh, shit, that did bleed out, didn't it? Oh, yeah, that did. <laughs> That's why it's dead. <laughs> anyway, so the reason I took all that out is because the space that I need to get to, it is a tight spot. Now, if anybody works on Cadillacs, oh, look at that, that sound bitch is leaking. Oh, so that's where all that brake fluid's coming from. It's coming from this line right here. Um, yeah, this one right here, because of the fact, well, both these are the, coming from the front. All right, now, the space that you have to get into, see that spot right there? Um, let me get my finger over here more. Right, oh, that's why I need my tripod. <laughs> um, here, let me put hang this up here. And then, okay, the bracket. Right. there right at the tip of my finger that bracket right there is where i had to go okay now it's a pretty tight spot okay and i mean it is yeah i know there's brake fluid leaking oh well i gotta replace it anyway so i'm gonna bleed all the brakes so don't even worry about that i'm not worried because the fact that i gotta replace i, I gotta change the brake fluid anyway um i don't want to bleed it dry but that's what happened um, so yeah, see, so that's why I took the hub assembly all apart. You know, it gives me a little bit more room with tools and my hands and, you know, stuff like that. Um, so what we got to do is we have to put new brake lines on. This one, this line right here actually broke. Um, what happened was I was trying to twist the bracket and I was trying to hold it. And apparently this line got twisted and it ripped the line. So I actually have to replace this line, but I think what I'm going to do is cut it back a bit and then redo it. Uh, you know, like a compression fitting or something like that. Something to hold that with. If I have to, I might just get a new line and just put it in. You know, it, that would work too. Um, so now I can't obviously get under here with brake fluid leaking because it's going to get all on me. And I'm not wearing my Charlie Classic shirt under there. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this here is your speed sensor. Your wire here. And then you have your, you know, your upper and controller arms. And then this here... If I'm remembering correctly, I believe this is like a kind of like a trailing arm. Um, I used to have one like this on my old car. It would connect to the frame and then connect into the 
mine didn't connect to the wheel hub. Mine like connected like down here, but yeah, like kind of like a trailing arm. Now, I, now I'm not. I, I don't exactly remember, so you know, don't 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 get me up about that too much. Um, because like I say, these I mean these Cadillac. I don't work on a Cadillacs normally because they're a pain in the fucking ass, and I don't like them. So anyway, so let me get up now. Oh man, I'm getting too old to be on my knees. Yeah. So basically, what we got to do is we got to get a new line. Um, this here, these, and this here, this line has got to be replaced. So we have to do both of these. Okay. Now I'm not sure what this thing does. Um, I'm having quite a problem with that because I lost a spring for it. Um, I ended up losing a spring for it, so I don't know where it went. I looked all over the floor because I didn't notice it dropped until after I was done doing what I was doing. And, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I've looked just about everywhere, and I can't find it. So I think I'm going to have to either find a new spring or get a whole new cylinder set up. I don't even know what that does. My guess is it controls the brake pressure is what I'm assuming. But, yeah, so this is basically... Yeah, so that's basically what it looks like under there, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's been sitting here for a few days. Um, so we ended up getting it back. So here's, well, here's a quick story on it. All right, it's one of my friends. All right, we, um, it was out at, out at a college and the thing wouldn't start. So I thought, okay, well, I'll go ahead and, you know, I'll go out there and get it running, you know? Well, come to find out it was a battery issue. So I fixed that, drove it home, ran fine, everything stopped. Well, all of a sudden, this thing here just decided to break a line out of nowhere. So I brought it here, and what happened was I come to find out that line was broke. So now we're attempting to replace uh, what's broke. So I'm hoping that nothing else goes wrong because it's going to suck if it does, you know, but yeah, that's the story on what happened the, in the last week with this car. Um, so it's kind of basically what we're doing. We're just kind of getting it fixed up and all the brake lines together and yeah, that's a big motor. That is a big beast. Hell yeah. <laughs> Jeez, I'm kind of amazed. I'm amazed this car doesn't fall. So basically what we have to do is replace the brake line and, well, two of them now, and the one I accidentally broke, so that one there I got to fix. Like, I, you know, I already expected something else to break because it always does when you're working on shit. Um, so, yeah, and the reason that's leaking is because I just opened up the, the cap. That's why it's draining out now. So that was kind of my fault. I didn't know because it wasn't doing that before, and it was just doing it on that side too. So, so anyway, it's so basically what we have to do is we just, that's what we have to do. So I'm going to do, a, I'm going to do a video when I get the parts. Um, now I'm no means by a professional at bending brake line and all that type of stuff. So it's probably, it's going to be half ass, but it will work. Um, I just have to take that line up and um, get it fixed or get a new line. It looks like 316s. That's what it looks like It does look like 316s So and we got to get a new one of these Well, oh no, not that one. Where'd it go? Oh uh, The reason I'm getting one of these is because that fitting is not gonna come out. That fitting is on there I tried impacting. I tried everything I could to get that thing going and Nope, she is not gonna go <laughs> So anyway yeah, so that's basically what's going on. We're basically just, uh, you know, repairing it, and I'll do a video tomorrow, and we will be all set. So hopefully, um, I'll get a good video out tomorrow. Um, I'm going to try to, i got to find my selfie stick, so that way we can do, you know, do some videoing. Um, I'm probably going to have one of my friends over to help, because um, it's kind of hard to videotape and put line in in that small spot. So, but anyway, yep, we will check her out tomorrow.